Hey everyone, welcome to the short video tutorial on how to install mods in Victoria 3 using the Paradox Game Launcher and the Steam Workshop. So let's start right in. First, head over to your library, Victoria 3, and then hit the play button. This will start the Paradox Game Launcher. On the left side, you now see your button play sets. This is the place where the launcher stores your mod lists. As you can see, I already have created some mod lists, so I already have one available for play, but we want to create a new one. To do this, head over to the right side and there's this drop down menu called exactly like your mod list. Click on the arrows and select add new playset. This will create a new playset and we will give it a name like tutorial mod list and hit create. And this will create an empty mod list. So now, if you have already downloaded mods through the Steam Workshop, you can click on add mods and you'll find, like I do, all the mods that uh, you all have already downloaded from the workshop. For example, like MBL's revision of AI, you can click the little checkbox and then on the bottom, add one to playset and this will add the mod to your playset. So if you haven't downloaded some mods from the workshop already, that's no problem. Head over to Steam again and then go to the Victoria 3 workshop. This is where you can find most of Victoria 3 mods. And now you have a broad selection of mods available. For example, let's install another mod like more spreadsheets, for example. This will give you bigger spreadsheets and everything. Just hit this little subscribe button and it will download it for you. And if we head over back to the Victoria 3 launcher, we will see I have one new mod available. Do I want to add it to the tutorial mod list? And now I can just click add to current playset and the mod will be added in our little mod list. When it comes to managing mods, sometimes load order is important. For example, if you want to overwrite one mod with another. So to change the mod load order, you can just go over to the left side and drag and drop the mods to their respective location. For example, I just changed the load order for mod spreadsheets to be loaded before the revision of the AI. But that's like special use case. Most mods don't rely on load order that much. And you have to experiment around with that if there are problems. Now, if we want to actually play the game with our mod list enabled, we go back over to home. And in the middle, we have another drop down where we can choose which mod list uh, the game uses. Like now I want to enable tutorial mod list and then hit play. So now the game will launch and it will use only those two mods we enabled in the playset and not all the other mods I also downloaded from Steam Workshop. An indicator if your modding was successful is in the bottom right. You will see a checksum and afterwards you will find the short term modified. So you know mods are enabled and if we start a new game, the mods should work. Another cool feature of the Paradox Game Launcher is that it will automatically tell you if there are mods that are not indicated for this version of the game. So for example, after the 1.2 update, many mods haven't been updated to the current game version. And as you can see, if you hover over this little exclamation mark next to the play button, some active mods are made for other game versions. So this indicates to you that there are mods in your playset that are currently not made for this version of the game. So for example, if I head over to my playsets, I have something like this deprecated mod, which actually tells you that it's old. And the question mark icon will tell you that this mod was made for another version of the game. More closely, 1.1. So this is an easy way of identifying potentially uh, safe game breaking mods 
which are not up to date. Another handy feature of the Paradox Game Launcher is that it actually remembers the mods you used for a save game. For example, I already created a save game using my gameplay enhanced experience for 1.2 playset. And if I now switch over to my vanilla experience mod list and start the game, and then try to hit the continue button, it will actually warn me about missing mods, like all these mods are not enabled in my current playset. And if I want to continue with this safe game, it might lead to potential bugs or crashes. So that's a really nice safety feature as well. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.